I guess when I'm blowing glass, there are certain steps that you go through and you know what's coming next. Uh, you know how you need to move and how, what tools you need to reach for. But the wonderful thing about this project is that even small differences in how you cut into the form and how you pull the form change the effects. It is a real luxury, I guess, within such a physical medium to have the opportunity to, to spend time to get those little details just right. Even though it seems hectic, <laughs> you've still got moments of pause to, to think about how to get the best line out of something and I guess working together with Matt in the studio or whoever you're working in the studio with, you'll, you'll watch people blow glass and it does look like a dance or like it's choreographed and I guess we understand the rhythm and understand how the heat works with the materials. There's definitely a relationship between the amount of time it takes to do something or the thickness of the glass. The, one of the things that you have to constantly do is turn the pipe in order that you're working with centrifugal force, but you've also got to work with gravity and if you let the piece stop moving, it'll fall down towards the ground. So there are inherent processes that you really are ingrained, but then you make those adjustments to stop or to create a different shape. I've been working with the, the blown heart form for quite a few years and I was introduced to the process of working with neon, making neon tubes uh, at the Canberra Glassworks. I guess that sparked the idea and the opportunity for me to look at these heart forms again and then rather than looking at them as a fluid form, which I'd been expressing through the process of glass blowing, I was given the opportunity to look at the idea of the electricity within our body and how vital that is. And the expression of that in these forms means that there's also this uh, wonderful element of interactivity and an opportunity to explore the idea of interconnection and how we're all connected to each other and how we affect each other. Yeah, Matt and I are really fortunate. We, um, we work together and we live together and we um, have this amazing studio instead of a backyard. I guess it's a really interesting thing to have the same passion and the same quite specific skill. I feel really fortunate that we're, you know, not only do we have this set up, but we also have the ability to support each other making interesting artwork.